Namaskar. What is happening in the kingdom of Twitter? Elon Musk has changed the rules so that the live locations of his jet called as Elon Jet cannot be uh, put out on public domain, especially on Twitter. Now, what happens normally is these days there are many softwares available called Flight Tracker, wherein let's say you are trying to uh, find out whether your near and dear ones are coming from some X place to your home. And because of delays, you want to know exactly what time the plane is going to land and if there is going to be any turbulence and so on and so forth. All these things can be tracked by finding out exactly where the plane that your relative, your near and dear one is traveling so that you will be on time. You don't waste time. That's a very good idea. Now, what has happened is a student from the United States called Jack Sweeney, he started tweeting out the location of Elon Musk's private jet called as Elon Jet. And this was what the CEO of Twitter took objection to. And he basically not only suspended this person's account, Jack Sweeney, he also suspended a New York Times reporter by the name of Ryan Mack, a CNN reporter by the name of Donnie O'Sullivan, and a Washington Post uh, reporter by the name of Drew Harwell. For all of them, the suspension is only for seven days and essentially what they have done is it's called as doxing, D-O-X-X-I-N-G, you know, trying to publish live what is happening. I have, you know, I've used this thing in the past to kind of get to know a few things. For instance, one time Russell Peters was performing in a, a cafe in San Francisco and you know San Francisco traffic being what it is he was running a little bit late so we were standing in a line to get in and somebody was tracking live where his whereabouts were so they could tell oh well he's at least 10 minutes away if you want to go do a coffee break or a bio break you can do that and come back and claim your place in the line now, things like that harmless stuff so now these rules have been tweaked a little bit you may not be able to uh, show the live location of someone unless you want your account to be suspended. Now this student Jack Sweeney is not going to keep quiet. He started a new account and he has tried to tweet from there. But I think now the rule applies across the board. So these are must have. So that's where things are. Look at the guy Elon Musk. He's running a SpaceX company and they just launched a rocket. He's also running uh, Twitter, he's running Tesla, he's uh, now offering in Texas some limited Tesla power. I mean, they are giving actually electricity like your local provider. And the way they are looking at it is that we will provide you the brick. They have a very massive uh, uh, storage uh, power grid called brick and what it does is it connects up to the solar power on your roof and it recharges during the day and when the sun is down this brick starts supplying power to you at night so these are the kind of things that he's coming up with now the other interesting thing is he said now they are producing at the rate of 3000 model y units of tesla in texas and i have to tell you this about a year ago they decided that our uh, elon musk's team decided that they need to move the headquarters of tesla from fremont california which is where i bought all the cars now to texas so clearly they got a tax break and and they got away from some of the rules and regulations that californian cities impose california has gone woke i mean there is a grain of truth in what abhijit says when he talks about silicon valley and how bad things have become but you can't you cannot change these things overnight because they didn't change overnight till here so it's going to take brick by brick to change this stuff long story short we've also talked about musk uh, being able to manufacture his cars at 40% uh, the price using the Shanghai auto plant. Now he may be trying to come up with a in-between number that is California product production cost was here. Shanghai was probably here. He's trying to bridge the gap and bring the Texas thing to be somewhere in the middle and probably try to drive down the prices so that he can get the same price benefits that he was getting in Shanghai. This guy is a Amazing, amazing entrepreneur. I have to tell you, tip my hat to him. So what is it that I'm trying to say here? What I'm trying to say here is Twitter, you're in for a ride. In fact, I'm told that he's going to supply us a tool which will tell us if your account is shadow banned and if it is shadow banned, what are the reasons for which it is being shadow banned and how you can get out of it. I'm hoping that all this is going to be made available to, you know, souls like me who, who've been wondering why is it that uh, we've gotten shadow banned 
ban and we are sure we are short of ban because once Twitter does it, believe me when I say this, Facebook will follow suit and so will Google, YouTube and so on and so forth. You have no choice. You have to keep up with the Joneses. Otherwise, people will just migrate away from your platform in a jiffy. Anyway, so these are things that are happening. Uh, I'm not uh, running um, uh, Elon Musk Chronicle here, what he got done, but I'm just trying to tell you the various amounts of things that he has been doing in a 24 hour period. I mean, I'm not saying and this is exaggeration, of course, but you know, running one company is hard enough. The guy runs three, four, and there's another company called Hyperloop that I didn't even mention about. This is an underground subway project where he was trying to take passengers at speeds beyond the sound of light so that they can go from place A to place B in, in a very, very short time. Uh, if you have lived in LA and if you have seen the traffic snarls that happen in LA, you'll understand what I mean. Same thing with Gurgaon, same thing with Bengaluru, same thing now with the, even Chennai. Some place, sometimes the traffic, uh, Mumbai also has become really bad. So you, in, everyone is getting there. First off, at least in India, they need to get all the metro projects going very, very fast. You know, there is one eyesore that I see every time I come to Coimbatore, that is the Coimbatore Metro from the airport to downtown. This thing has, I think, for political reasons, been stalled by the DMK government because they don't want to show any progress that could be shown as being done by Modi. They'll cut off their own nose if you have to do that. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and, and click on the bell icon for notification. Namaskar.